Here at the RSPCA Wildlife Hospital, we have implemented a reptile incubation protocol uh, to help rescue new little baby reptiles. We saw many, many reptile mums during the trauma season period that were uh, unfortunately hit by cars or attacked by dogs that then ended up being gravid, meaning they had lots of eggs inside and it essentially gave many reptile babies a second chance at life. Every type of snake, lizard, turtle, frog, carpet pythons, common tree snakes. We've done some caesareans on blue tongue lizards, brown snake eggs, water dragons. Once they're in the incubator, they get set for a certain number of days or months and then they just sit out their little lives, hanging out in their eggs, keeping nice and warm, and then we get they get daily checks to make sure everything's progressing well. So these are Eastern Water Dragon babies, lovely small little eggs. Uh, Mum was hit by a car and we have harvested the eggs. You can see those veins just there. So that's how we know the egg is nice and healthy. It's, you can see the fluid moving around, so very close to hatching, which is very exciting. So. The total incubated, it'd be well over like 150, 200 babies. We've had um, just recently during trauma season, multiple um, turtles turtle mums coming in. We always x-ray them beforehand, but they've been hit by cars with very horrific shell injuries. And then we find eggs on the x-ray and we'll keep those and incubate them. And we just released some not too long ago at the um, Mount Kutha Gardens, which was really good. So this is our, um, our little turtle kindy. So it's our little makeshift step before they go back out to the wild while we wait for their siblings to finish hatching. Um, so these are all little uh, saw shell turtle babies. So they're all uh, having a little float around. You can see their tiny, tiny little egg tooth just there. They've used to get out of the, uh, the egg just yesterday. Even reptiles have little belly buttons. <laughs> There'll be 14 in here. So this clutch pending the four hatching will be a 100% hatch success rate, which is pretty good. You can always hear someone running down the hallway yelling my name going, the babies are here, the babies are here. So I think that the hatching part, seeing them finally come out is very exciting, but I prefer the release because I get to sort of scope out where they're gonna go. You get to pop them in the water and then they just kind of swim away like, you know, see you later, that's all good, thanks for that. I think a lot of people go, well, it's just natural selection, just let them die, which I think is very sad uh, because most of them come in because they've been attacked by a dog, they've been hit by a car, and so mums then lost that opportunity to go and lay those eggs and it's just important to help keep that population out there because they are under threat a lot from domestic and just human interaction. Getting some upgraded equipment and that kind of stuff to increase our capacity would definitely be great with the new hospital coming as well. Yeah, so it'll just be a really good thing to continue and then with that education side of things as well, just, yeah, getting more people to love reptiles and <laughs> learn that they are really vital to the ecosystem as well. So.